Okay, we are going to be getting up and down off the floor, but we're going to do it as an exercise from chair pose. So, come into chair pose. Remember, lower ribs are knitted in to the front of your hip bones, so your ribs are a little bit back. A little bit back. Your chin is tucked, so your neck is long. Shoulders are rolled back without squeezing and popping. So your nice long spine. Now what I want you to do is slowly lower yourself to the ground and then come back up and we're going to end up in that chair pose. When you come back up, I want you to ground down and use that front foot. I don't want you to push with the back leg at all. So you're going to use that front leg on a good exhale to make it up to here. Slowly lower and then Good, and we're going to pause here. Chair pose, we're sitting back. We're looking like this. Ribs are knitted in. Neck is long. Okay, so we're sneaking out. Coming down, using the front leg. Big exhale. It takes some work to get up from the floor when you're using the right muscles and not cheating. But that's why I want to strengthen those muscles so then your body has access to them. And when you come up the floor, off the floor quickly, your body will stabilize. And not just ignore these deep muscles and rely on the big ones. Big exhale, push down. Good. Slowly lower. No using the back foot, all front leg. Good, try not to shift your weight too much. It of course will shift. Side to side. Now this is my weaker side, so if you watch my hip, this is what I'm trying to avoid, is my hip shifting out this way and grounding down a lot through that front leg. Good. So if you look, you can probably see a little bit of a shift on me, but I'm aware of it. And I'm working hard to prevent it, which is kicking in all the right muscles. Good. One more each side. 